crafty friends jen cassell here i'm back with a quick project share for miss kate designs using some dies from scrap diva designs so i'm using the subby box from miss kate and it's a birthday subby box but i wanted to show you the versatility of this box it doesn't have to be for birthdays alone. sorry I've, I've actually started using this a little bit this is one of my uh tips for you actually don't toss this paper in this case there is some on the back they do give you a bonus pattern sheet but on the front i love having these little strips because if you you know they come in perfectly and i will show you what i use them for so with this one I have the cute swag bag die. I did some of the balloons from the cart that came out from Scrap Diva. I used some of the ephemera that came with the subby box. There's a couple of cute uh, cupcakes here. I did a little candle in the background, the Let's Celebrate, a few paper strips to top it all off. Such cute, fun colors, right? And in the back, you're going to see this cute little mini card that I did. And it is a shaker. It's loaded up with some of the ephemera that I received last month in the Celebrate box from Buttons Galore. So I use those paper strips on the candles. Isn't that cute? I love how it turned out. This birthday girl is from the sticker set that comes with the paper and sticker kit. I just topped it with 110 pound cardstock. I did some shading at the top of the candles. I just cut these with my Cricut. And then you can see how layered it is. I really made this a chunky little card. And then inside, it's just the perfect size to add a little sentiment or, you know, a little note to your recipient. For me, this is for my niece whose birthday is coming up soon. So there's plenty of room for me to throw this in. And then I'm also going to tuck a gift card in the back. And it's a cute little present for her. I like it. But I really wanted to show you the versatility of this subby box because I used it again for this. I did a little backpack and once again, I used some of those dies from Scrap Diva. Go ahead and use my coupon code GEN10 for 10% off your purchase at the shop. Uh, I used so many dies from, from her. This is the heart gift bag that was released this month as well as the cute bear and this bear I topped off with a couple resin pieces you're going to see some popsicles that I had in my stash as well as this little ice cream and the lollipop uh, the sweet tree is just cut out in foam and I kind of raised it up in a couple of sections the double bow or the double loop bow has a couple of pom-poms topping it I did a magnetic closure and then I turned it into a backpack by adding this purse straps. Now this wasn't an original idea. I really, really wish I could remember who I saw it. I think it might have been scrap goodness. I can't remember, but I saw it and I was like, oh my God, what a cute backpack. So I just added some strips here and here you're going to see this cute little handmade embellishment that I did. And you know, there's, there's actually some inspiration behind this. So I was on some site, I can't remember, and they were actually selling these. And I was like, wow, that's really cute. I bet you I could bake those. So I kind of started playing around. And guys, I'm going to do a tutorial for you because they're so stinking cute. And I use the uh, purse strap die from Scrap Diva for this as well. And I just added another one of those lollipops. I attached a resin uh, bow to it and then a few more of the um, uh, clay pieces from Buttons Galore. So, so cute. I love this. And I modeled this bear after uh, this collection actually has some bears in it. And none of them fit on this properly. So I was like, oh, I'll just use that cute bear die that came out. So I kind of use the same colors that 
are in the die cuts of the bears inside the kit. So I think everything goes really well together. I love how this turned out. So there's still time to get your subby box from Miss Kate. I'm going to link everything in the description box. If you want to check out some of these dies from Scrap Diva, go ahead and use my coupon code GEN10 for 10% off your purchase at the shop. So thank you so much for watching. Stay tuned. I'm going to be doing that cute little candy embellishment tutorial. I'm actually filming that right now, so it should be following up very soon. And if you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button for more crafty content. I'll see you in the next crafty video. Bye!